Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome to this video on saving you time. Now, saving time is very important. Time is a quantity that we only get so much of. So I want to go ahead and show you when you're programming in a language like C, for instance, how you can save some time. And you can also use this trick to automate some of your other tasks that you need to do. With that said, let's go ahead and dive into this video. So what I've got here is a little C program on the left hand side here. And I'll go ahead and open it up here and I've got a little print that I want to do and I'll have to compile this main.c let's output it as a program here and we run our program and then if I make a change here I need to go over to the left window pane here and maybe change it to hello write out the file to save it recompile and then run the program so that's my sort of edit compile and run cycle so in a language like C or C++ this is something you're going to find yourself commonly doing so there's little tricks that you can do to speed things up. For example, if I'm just doing iterations here, I might want to use the double ands here to go ahead and run our program. And that saves me a few key presses from having to compile and run the program on a separate line. And then of course, there's other tricks that you can do like make files, for instance, and do make and run and those types of configurations to just get this down to a single command and also make your process more consistent. But what I'm gonna go ahead and show you is just a way to make us run this program, this C program, more like a script so that we can just execute it periodically. Now, lucky for us, what this means is we can take advantage of commands like watch on Unix. I'm going to show you another one that's even more useful, but this one gets to the idea of what we're going to show today. So watch is a command that repeatedly runs a command and shows the display here. And we can choose the actual interval, that is how many seconds, where we want to run this program or a series of commands. So let's go ahead and try it out with watch. And every two seconds, let's go ahead and run GCC, compile our main program, and let's just go ahead and execute it as well. I'll go ahead and squeeze this over so you can see it on the same line here. And as soon as I hit enter, you'll see that we're running this command here, abbreviated, and the time here, which you'll see increment every two seconds and running our program. Well, it's compiling and running our program. So if I go over to the left-hand side and I change this to high, for instance, then we should see this compile, run, and if it's within the two seconds, go ahead and print out high here. Or maybe this process takes a little bit longer if we have a bigger source code here, then we'll get whenever the compile command finishes the actual output. That's the idea. So this is a pretty good way to start and maybe one way if you're learning a new tool or a language to just get rapid feedback. And I think that's really important to save you time. That's why, for instance, if you can find an interpreter or in some programming languages like D where you can run the actual code you're working with like a script, again, that's very valuable, especially as you're learning or just prototyping a new idea, even if you are an expert. But we can do a little bit better than what's above here because this is being a little bit wasteful. It's just recompiling and rerunning this command. So while watch is very useful, I'm going to go ahead and hit control C to terminate this. And I'm going to go ahead and install a program, sudo app git install enter. And this is available on other operating systems other than Unix. That's why I like it. So we'll give it a moment to just download here. And this will effectively allow us to monitor and run commands. So let's go ahead and look at the manual page here. And it lets us run arbitrary commands when a file changes. And this is going to be a little bit better or more efficient. So only every time I say modify this actual file. So what this tool is doing is listening for events like when the time modified of this file has changed, then we can run some series of commands. So let's go ahead and set this up just so you can see an example. And there's lots of the documentation, lots of different events you can monitor for. But I just want to show you something to get started here. And effectively, I'm just going to be using dash s here to monitor and run a command here. And let's go ahead and try out pretty much that same thing we did. We want to recompile because we're in a compiled language when we make a change here, main.c dash o, our program. And if there's a successful compilation, that's why we use the double ampersands as opposed to, say, a semicolon, then we'll run our program. And I put this within single quotes here. So that's our command here. And you'll see, though, as I enter this, that I get a little error message here. So it's not quite um, going to run in this way and just kind of run over an interval. Because again, remember how this tool is working. It's a little bit different than watch in that it's looking for some input. So I actually need an input here. So commonly what I'll do is I'll just say list out all the um, .c files here. 
So with a star dot C and then pipe this list of files. So any files that have changed in my current directory, which let me show you how many I have here, just the one main dot C file, then actually take that list of files here and then run this command here. So now let's go ahead and try here. So now we can see hi here and we get the exit code. And now let's go ahead and say hello. And I'm just going to save this as you'll notice in the bottom left here. And as soon as I hit enter, we'll see that this command immediately runs. We don't wait for two seconds or have to guess the interval, but it runs, compiles, and <laughs> executes our code. So let's just go ahead and run this a few more times. I've made some changes here. Hello, I, uh, let's see, hope. I saved you time. Just something like that. Let's go ahead and save it. And then again, immediately we can see this. So again, this is just a nice little trick, especially if you're learning C or C++, like many of the videos on this channel, and you just want rapid feedback and not having to switch back and forth between terminals or wrestle with or do extra clicks here. Again, your time is important, so I'm hoping that I can save you a little bit of time here with this trick. So there you have it, folks. That's just a little trick that uh, I like to do. Normally, I don't show you that on the actual videos that I use because I like to show out explicitly all the steps that I do, but you're allowed to use these time-saving tools. That's one of the great parts about programming. So folks, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, comment below if you have other cool time-saving tricks. And with that said, thank you for your time and attention. I hope you'll subscribe for more and we'll see you in the next one.